Mm. Now, before I draw poetry out to a close, does anybody have anything else they'd like to share? Remember, learning is sharing. I have something to wet your poetic palate. Go on, fair lady. The sun came up and shone on my bits. Mm. I took off my top and showed them my belly button. <laughs> such thank such you, thank you. tender words. Um, do you see me after, <laughs> fair Brady? Anything else to share, gentle Hester? Mm, nothing I wish to share with the group. <laughs> I've, uh, I, I, I've, I've written something. Remember, Cole, remember what I said. Expression, expression. OK. Uh, I, I, I love the day. I, I love the night. I have no problem with weight or height. I, I wear pants. They're always vital. So come on all, let's cue those titles. Yeah! yeah. Cue, cue titles! titles. You're halfway through the day, and this is what we'll be treating you to for the next two hours. Dream Team Steady Eddie Sanders is here, and he'll be joining me in the games pad to give us an exclusive look at the hottest snowboarding game yet, Cool Borders 4. Right. <laughs> Radio 5's Brendan Coogan's going to be talking ice hockey, football, cricket, and today's Rugby Six Nations opener in the sports desk. Yay. Welcome, Brendan. Brett Dominey's fierce will be in the flat to practice their acceptance speech on us. All right. Woo. Plus we're, I don't know, uh, plus we're giving away a holiday to Dublin, a brand new prepaid mobile phone, a limited edition camera, and a year's subscription to a cool no magazine way. in our competition's blow up and huge group. Wow. That is such a game competition. Holiday to Dublin. Yeah. 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 Mom. yeah, my mum said it's okay. <laughs> oh, cool. yeah. The gorgeous Brenna Fredo from uh, Brit nominated Fats and Small will be giving you all of this week's pop gossip before he jets off to an award cinema in Germany. Oh, yeah. And you can see what happened when Heather and I bumped into Paul McCartney, Alex from Blur, Cat Dealey and Fatboy Slim in our Bedrock Diary. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And of course we've been joined by this week's repeat video clerk, it's Mark. <laughs> However, there's still room for more, so let's get our first gets in. It's Marcel, Colin and Aidan from Grange Hill. In you come down. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, Colin looking very smart. He put a tie on for the occasion. You're not in school sorry, now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling all right since Thursday? You had a bit of a fall, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did. No, I'm much better now. Much Good. Better. Good. There you go. Now, the guys are going to be giving us all the play around gossip from the set of the show later on today. Mm, excellent. So, has everybody settled? Yes. Yeah, we're settled. Everybody I'm settled. You settled. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Okay, well, we've got a really big show ahead of us. So I think we should start all off with a group hug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a big group hug. Hey. 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 Okay. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Let's let the show begin. It's time to play Bob Around Up. Okay, we're about to see the videos from three songs that are released next week. After we've watched them, everybody's got 15 seconds to tear around the room and stick their CD next to the group they think will chart highest next weekend. How's that sound, Ed? Can't wait. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's proceed. Today's first song is from All Saints. It's the first track to come off the soundtrack to Leo DiCaprio's new film, The Beach, and it will also feature on I Need the Mic, the girl's new album, which is out in March. Here's Pure Shores. <laughs> Good to know, Colin. Do you like the old suits? Yeah, I do. Yeah, have, you, right. have you missed them whilst they've been away? <laughs> Not really. Not really. <laughs> I suppose they've never been out of the press, though. No, you no, haven't no, done any music. So, what, what do you think of the single? No, I do like their comeback. Yeah. It was a good comeback. Quite catchy. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Now, Mark is the uh, video clerk. I'll move you, Buff. Uh, you're going to see the beach this week, I presume. I expect I will be going to see that film, definitely. Yeah. yeah so. now, which, of the, um, which of the Appletons do you prefer? More importantly. More importantly, yeah. More importantly, yeah. More importantly <laughs> um, I, I'd, I'd go for Nicole, but the, the Robbie Williams connection is a bit of an off putter, I think. But yeah. other than that, yeah. I wouldn't mind both. 
<laughs> yeah. 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 Can we just have a vote here, Natalie or Nicole from Aussie? Nicole. 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 It's a unanimous yeah. decision. Nah. Nicole from Aussie. Well, we were just saying, Ed was just saying that that was the same producers who produced that single as Madonna. 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 And it sounds really more like the sound just yeah. like Madonna. It's very Madonna. And Barbie they spotted just a just winning well. formula. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, going up against the all powerful All Saints is Anne Lee. Anne Lee had a huge hit last year with the fiendishly catchy Two Times. Uh, her new single, Voices, is off her current album, Dreams. Dreams. Let's see what she's got. Now, I have to say, Ed, I imagine you'd rush out and buy that one. I can't wait to finish the show and go and get it. <laughs> and there's really? no prices around the corner. I would have been there in front uh, of you. Do you like dance music? Or do you think like classes of um, dance music? Not really, can, not dance music. I prefer drum and bass myself. But that yeah. is, uh, it probably will go very high, but not my cup of tea at mm. all. Colin, yeah. is that a departure of her, do you think? Oh, yeah, that's nothing like her original. <laughs> <laughs> Good break from the There you go. That's uh, Ann Lee. But last up is Eiffel 65 with Mood Your Body, another quality band. This, this is the follow up <laughs> single to their massive summer hit, Blue. Apparently, the melody from Blue, which is very worrying, is a very popular ringing tune on mobile phones for idiots. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the new one. Expensive video, yeah. well, 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 well money. money. Yeah. 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 Um, Colin, did you like that one? What, what are you doing? It's exactly the same as that Anne Lee, it's just the same. Just yeah. with no, it's not. What? <laughs> no, not the same as Anne Lee. It's to do with the, the winning same. formula. It's, like it's the same. actually put them on the screen for you. It's the same yeah. thing. It's yeah. a different mobile phone ring this time. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a contract. Now, it, it, the video was a bit like a dodgy Pet Shop Boys video, but obviously that was class. Your sort of music, Mark? Um, not the kind of thing I'd rush out and buy. I, I mean, I don't want a bit of pop, but that's just. Dire? Trash. Trash. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Grim. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd agree. Anyway, okay, you've seen the videos in question, but what's Brendan, single... shut up! <laughs> <laughs> You're so talkative. <laughs> Which single will be the highest new entry in next weekend's chart? CDs at the ready, everybody? I search. <laughs> CDs at the ready, everybody? Yeah! Yes. Good. We've got 15 seconds to it. Everybody? Yeah, yeah, top yeah, ten. Top yeah, ten. Top yeah, ten. Yeah, top 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 ten. Yeah,
spin the wheel. Oh, right. <laughs> can anyone else give us a burping blast here? No. Ed, you can do it. I know you can do it. Give it a go. Why? Why can you do it? Keep your lunch down. Colin, you can do it. No, I can't do it. Marcel can do it. Marcel. That's good enough, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Right. Smells amazing. <laughs> Live until 2.30, so if you want to ask anyone a question, enter our fantastic competitions or burp down the phone at us, this is how to get in touch. OK, we'd love to hear from you. You can call us on 0870 600 06. You can send us a fax on 0870 600 07, or send an email to bedrock at itv2.co.uk. And I'm over here! Hi! <laughs> After the break, Ed and I will be taking an exclusive look at the latest edition to PlayStation's Cool Borders series. Mm, and we've got an exclusive preview of John Travolta's brand new sci-fi thriller, Battlefield Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick on your teeth. Fish and chips. Well. I like Battlefield Earth. Uh, fish and chips <laughs> spin on the, uh, the original. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and Heather and I will be showing you what we got up to at the stars at the Enemy Awards during the week. Here's a little taster, just like yours. really right. Damon, how are you? All right, I'm fine. What do you make of these um, award ceremonies in the afternoon? Well, I... I've learned over the years not to drink, but I'm sitting next to Paul McCartney, which is all a bit too much for me, really. Enough cool. to have anyone to drink. Absolutely. How tired does he look? Yeah, he wants something know. You're watching television. You are watching ITV2. And this is Bedrock! Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Saturday's Scorching Bedrock. In this part, Ed will be showing you the new remote control car racer for the Dreamcast in today's gamepad. Different class, we've been playing it all week, top notch. Excellent. And Ben will be getting fierce to give us all the gossip from the Brits nomination party. Plus, if you fancy winning a limited edition camera and a year's supply of Smash Hits magazine in our fab competition blow up, all you have to do is call in and answer this question. It's an easy one. Who are England playing in the first match of the new Six Nations Rugby Tournament? Is it A, Russia, B, Ireland, or is it C, China? Please phone 0870 600 6606 and calls will be charged at the national rate, which is about 10p a minute. Very easy. But right now, it's time for an exclusive trailer. This, this week, we've got Battlefield Earth starring John Travolta. It's set in the year 3000 when humans are an endangered species and a race of aliens led by Travolta have robbed Earth of its national resources. But one man rises up to make one last stand. So Ed, what's your favourite Travolta movie? It's got to be Grease. Really? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, this one's not even out in the States until summer, so let's enjoy what we can now. When we attacked your planet, all your soldiers and all their advanced technology could only put up a measly nine-minute fight before they were exterminated. Which is why man is an endangered species. think of uh, John Travolta's dreads then? Uh, for the first time seeing it, he actually looks pretty good. Do you think so? Yeah. I think it looks awful. It looks I have to say, my favourite Travolta look is still the classic white suit from sort of Saturday Night Fever. Mm. And I was just wondering if you could give us any, you know, Travolta moves. Well, uh, being my favourite's Grease, it's got to be the one where he's at the high school dance and he sort of does that sort of little cheeky little... Oh, <laughs> very nice. Oh, very nice. nice. But anyway, coming up, Rachel will be examining the boys from Bain Show, but first... <laughs> never catch on. No. <clears throat> Good afternoon, this is the Bedrock Standards Council where we always put safety... first... second... <laughs> and third... Each week, the council subjects, good start, three Thanks. gadgets to a savage testing process. That process consists of three tests, the Ben and Neil test... That's us. The Joe Public test... That's you. And the guest test... That's the guest. OK, first off, Ben and I will be testing an exclusive. The was it. The was it. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a dog that repeats itself. I said a dog that repeats itself. Please don't. 
You press the dog's paw and say a phrase into its ear, it repeats what you said in a selection of tuneful ways. Obviously, there's nothing big and there's nothing clever about making it say rude words. Poo. Poo, poo. It's time to examine the interest rate. Neil, how long would that keep you interested? Poo. Neil. Neil, I think, I think we should put the was it down. Oh, don't put it down. A dog is for life. <laughs> How long does it keep us interested? Oh, that's going to go on for months. I think it might. <laughs> Till you exhausted your vocabulary. Yes. Is it a pass or fail? It's definitely a pass. There you go. That's I a can pass. think of lots of things to say to it. For a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it quiet. <laughs> now then, it's time for the second test. The one the public forced us to call. The Joe Public Test. <laughs> OK, now getting the treatment this week is the spanking new and exclusive Wetzer. Wetzer? Wetzer, Wetzer, yeah, I hear you ask. Well, it's a skateboard with a pole on it to help you balance. You might think that's just a scooter, but no, this is so top secret we can't show you it in the studio. Um, it has a brake on the back on the for back. quick stops. Quick stops. Um, admittedly, it's a potentially very, very unsafe insane. vehicle to give to an unsuspecting member of the Shouldn't public. Do it. But we made them aware of all the risks safety was upheld. Should we have a look? OK. Here it is. Hi, my name is Clinton, and I'm a member of the Great British Public. And Bedrock Standards Council has sent me here today to test out the new Wetzel. So let's check it out. Well, the new Wetzel is a rather bizarre looking thing. But once I got on it, it was a fun ride. So personally, I'll give it a pass. Ah, ah. Very smooth ride. Yes, there we go. Much like that falling down. There we are. But that got a pass. It was very good, but obviously uh, he was an expert in its hands. There's only one examination remaining. What? Say again. There's only one examination remaining, and that is the guest test. <laughs> guest testing this week is Marcel from Grange Hill. In you come, Marcel. Come in! Hey! That's um, far enough. Welcome okay, to um, the, uh, welcome to the Standards Council. Council. There we go. Um, are you prepared to conduct yourself in a safe and controlled manner? I am. Yes. Now, the product you will be testing of um, is of an aggressive nature, so you must remain calm at all time and wear these uh, standard issue safety glasses. There we go. Thank you very much. Very good. You fit in very well now. It looks strangely attractive, suddenly. <laughs> no, wrong show. <laughs> 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 um, now, this week's guest test will be done on another exclusive. <laughs> um, they're called Battle Conkers. Uh, and they're just like conkers, um, but plastic and heavily armoured. There's no vinegar or baking required, or waiting till autumn. Ah, I like the <clears> twist. <throat> you just play you like play normal doors. conkers. You take turns to hit each other's conker. However, no side swipes. The player with all, who managed to remove all three of their Whoa! opponent's power shields. I've lost some of my power shields. I've lost one as well. Oh, wins. Oh, there um, you go. You weakened your, your own conquer. As you watch your knee, um, that's nice, nice. <laughs> uh, the, oh, windmills, windmills, stampsies. Stampsies, um, I've got a 12 Oh, yes! Okay. Something flew off! I am the conqueror! Rawr! Rawr! Calm. <laughs> Marcel, you're the guest. Um, can you tell me whether it's a pass or a fail? <laughs> pass. There you go, that's a pass for the conkers. I think it's best that you leave now. Um, don't tell any of your Grain Shield friends about what you've seen here. And if you could put the glasses down, um, thanks for coming in. Right. OK. I'm sorry. See you later. Bye. Are you OK? <sighs> there you have it. This week, we've approved... All of them. ...everything, uh, which is lovely. It's been uh, a week of passes. The Bedrock Standards <laughs> Council will be in session next week. Until then, it's very important that you live by these very words. Safety. Safe. <laughs> must always come first. What? Second. And third. Third. Good day. Hi, <laughs> ah, welcome to Saturday Psychiatry with me, Dr. Rachel Brady, BSE or SVP ASAP. I'm joining some very interesting clients today. They appear to be suffering from dual personalities. It's three lads from CBBC's Grange Hill. Any problems that they have, though, we're going to work through together. OK, please acknowledge yourselves when I call out your name. Colin? Yo, I'm here. Aiden? Yes. Marcel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Falling asleep there, okay. First of all, we're going to have a little bit of background music to help the rest of you relax. Marcel's obviously quite relaxed already. Yeah, excellent. Now, Colin. Yes. I would like to begin with you. Yep. Okay, your character in Grange Hill is called Colin Ridgewell. Yep. Um, 
When he takes over from you then, how different is he to your normal self? Um, well, I guess he's a bit naive at times. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted there is a bit of me in the character, because yeah. I've been doing it for like seven years. Oh, right. So, uh, when I started, there was a bit of me that went into it, so... Very good, okay. And I understand that you have aspirations to become a television presenter of Coolness and Fame and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's very possibly, yeah. Okay, well, let's have a little look at you talking about this. Won't get the job. There'll be hundreds going for it. I'll get it. Well, why should they pick you over everybody else? Because I'm cool. You yeah, so am I. Cool, you can't escape what you are. Hey, Wayne. What? Am I, um... Ah, nothing, forget it. Hey, Nate, let me see that advert again. Mm, I see there that uh, Marcel is clearly showing some hostility towards you. Oh. How does that make you feel? Uh, I don't know, intense. Uh, <laughs> just, you know. Mm, getting with the program here. Very good. Okay. Aiden, yes. you're next. I would like you to look Aiden. at this ink blot and tell me what you see. Lunch. No, no, no. I see a butterfly. <laughs> I see a butterfly. A butterfly. Yeah. Okay. I need to see what you eat. All right. Very good. And how well do you get on with the cast and the crew in Grain Shield? Brilliantly. They're all really nice and we're used to this sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's that Regular close. therapy sessions on set the, and stuff. Yeah, the crew and everything. It's brilliant. We always go to bed together and stuff. Oh. Yeah. And it's fun. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's good time. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, Marcel. Okay, what thoughts are going through your mind right now? Cabbages. <laughs> Cabbages. <laughs> Big uh, ones, you know, like the, 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 the prize-winning ones, the yeah. massive ones. So you're hungry, maybe. You're feeling pangs. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, very Mine's good. Fine. Now, I want you to Mine's take fine. me through your first attention. Tell me your first attention. Um, ah, uh, my first attention. As, of my, as my character or as myself? As yourself. As myself. Um, oh, uh, it was about I got into a fight and um, and it oh, was that I couldn't, possible. I couldn't during the after-school football practice ah. and I had, I had to, I had to Tension. So we have aggression issues here, definitely. Mm. Okay, well, I want you to look at this colour and tell me the first thing that comes into your head. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it, Moss? <laughs> your blonde hair, Colin. Thanks, Moss. <laughs> mm, interesting. Okay, well, it's not all intense therapy here, boys. We've got something very special for you coming in. Come in. Hey. Hi, you've got Hello. my tie on. Um, I'm a Green Telegram and I've got a special message for you. I'm a Green Telegram for Green Show. If I have to skip detention, I probably will. But on this show means your image could be marred if you can't limbo under this here bar. Do you want us to limbo on the yes, bar? Yeah, you got to try it. I'll go first. Right, here we go. Okay. Oh, oh, go, right. go, go, go. Lower, lower, lower. Okay, lower. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not very athletic, but. <laughs> I'm afraid. Hey. I know you can do this. Oh, oh yeah! Wow. Right on, and finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, very good, very good. That's detention for you. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. 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 See you That's very impressive. Thank you, you very much. Huh? Do you all do that a lot? Yeah, we'll, you know. Yeah, we very do that. Athletic. Very agile, very stuff. athletic, yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay, well, unfortunately, we have no more time for today's session, but I feel that we have achieved a great deal. Mm? Um, do any of you have any questions? Fine. Okay, the session is now closed. If any of you would like to see the results of our therapy, then you can tune into Grange Hill on Tuesdays and Thursdays on BBC One. Coming up with a chance to win top prizes in our competition blow-up, but first of all, this. <laughs> Welcome to the Bedrock Games Pad, where we show you how to have a great time by yourself. Your advisor and my co-host today is the one and only Steady Eddie Sanders. How you doing, big man? How you doing, mate? Oh, well, yeah. No. What have you been up to since I last saw you? Have you been um, uh, putting in the hours on your, on your games? I console? have been putting in the hours, as you can see, hence the beard. Um, <laughs> but I went out and bought Thrasher, uh, Skate oh, and Destroy. Oh, yeah. Not as good as Tony Hawk's too. No, but still safer than the real thing, which is how I sprained my thumb skateboarding. There we go. But it's not, it's not a patch on Tony Hawk's, no, is it? No, not at all. Playability, the smoothness, and nothing. Never mind. Never mind. It's a hardcore game. Anyway, in a little bit, we'll be checking out the ingenious revolt. It's great on the Dreamcast. But let's push off with the essential three-bit game news with me, Neil Cole, on harmonica. OK, Ed, take it away. No one. Now, you'll be able to jazz up your dowdy old consoles with a host of different sticky designs that have just hit the shops. Now, they fit PlayStations or Dreamcasts, and new designs will be released every month. Cool. It's getting good. <laughs> Dreamcast's highly anticipated Crazy Taxi has been given a confirmed release date. It's hitting the shops on the 25th of February. 
there so far. And finally through, you can go to this website and see Lara Weller, the real-life model who portrays Lara Croft, painted head to toe in platinum paint. <laughs> it was done yesterday to salute Tomb Raider 3, cells going platinum. Little house on a prairie. Uh, and that was the three bit games news with me spitting over Ed. Oh, sorry, with me, Neil Cole on harmonica. Oh, actually, news just in we've got a PlayStation 2. Look at that. <laughs> That's a PlayStation 2. How cool is that? It's not obviously a real one, but I'm so excited about them coming. And of course, Tony Hawk's 2 will be on PlayStation 2 as well. Can't wait Thanks. for that. Oh. Anyway, um, it's time to check out this week's big game with Ben next door. Thank you very much, Neil. I've been joined here by Laurie and John Joe. Guys, thanks for coming on the show. Um, tell me, do you mostly tend to play your games with friends or on your own? I usually play with my friends because it just gives a better atmosphere. More competitive. Yeah. Got to try and beat your friends up. Yeah. And what sort of games do you like to play, Laurie? Uh, 50,000. More sport games. Sport games. What about you, John Joe? More racing games. And cool. Well, that's good because we've got an absolute belter for you today, which is a racing game. It's called Revolt and it's a remote control car racing game. You guys start playing. It's out this weekend and it's on the all powerful Dreamcast. There's a massive range of cars to choose from, and they all handle just like real remote controlled buggies. It really is fantastic. Now, the superbly detailed tracks range from a cul-de-sac, which the guys are racing in at the moment, to uh, corridors, to ocean liners, to supermarkets, and you earn extra cars and extra tracks as you progress through the levels. Now, you, as you can see, the guys are chasing each other around this, this cul-de-sac street, and the, one of the most impressive things about the game is how they handle just like radio control, remote control cars actually handle and spin out like that. Guys, I'm going to have to stop you because um, I need to find out some stuff about the game. What's the best bit? I think the best bit is just the pure graphics. I think it's like almost having a remote control car isn't it just? in your room. It's, it's amazing. And as you can see, you're driving around. It's all so smooth, isn't it? Yeah, and I know. It's just like it's just the best game I've played in Really a long great time. detail, yeah. Cool. And but what's the worst bit, Laurie? Well, Ben, I think it would have to be the sensitivity of the brakes. Right. It's too sharp for my likings. It skids off. Makes it quite hard to control, doesn't it? Especially if you have a competitive game, it can be very fatal. Exactly. You lose your position. In, in, the championship, um, in the championship league as well, it gets really, really difficult because you're racing different types of cars. Yeah. There's so many different to choose from. So you have to learn. But, you know, obviously it gives you the uh, opportunity to learn how to drive each car. However, to, find your, uh, to get your final word on what you think of the game, it's time to call on our fast, steady Eddie. In you come, Ed. Lads, 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 now, you've been playing Revolt, and uh, it's a cheeky little game, isn't it? I think you'll agree. Yeah. Yeah. But the pass mark is 80%, and I need to know if my old mucker Ben can bedrock to prove it. So, Laurie, what do you give it out of 10? Oh, I think it lets it down slightly because there's sensitivity of brakes, but I think it would be 8 out of 10. That, my friends, is 80%. Ben. Lovely job. John Joe, not going to leave you out, big man. What do you give it out of 10? I think out of 10 is quite a good score because it's just a bit like it's realistic. It's not just too realistic. I mean, it doesn't say damage on the car when you crash. Right, so I mark right. it down to an out of 10. 8 out of 10 as well? Yeah. Got to squeeze no more points out of you, or is that it? I think that's fine. Yeah, that's oh, it. Well, 80 and 80 oh. makes. 80. 80. <laughs> so, that's very well approved. <laughs> Lovely job. I'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Nice you know, Don't forget the bananas for me mum, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Sorted, nice Told one. Told you last week. There you go. There you go. That's a, that's a bedrock approved sticker for Revolt. Thanks to Ed. And thanks very much, guys, for lending us your thumbs and your thoughts. Uh, and happy gaming. Right now, it's back to Ed and Neil, who next door. You got some bananas for me, for my mum. Yeah, I told you that. Oh, cheers. Lovely. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Uh, what's up on the PC slate this week, Ed? Well, my friend, we featured it exclusively on Bedrock at the beginning of the series. It is called Beetle Crazy Cup, and it is out on the 18th of this month. Aha! Now, this is a flower power 60s racing game, and it is officially um, licensed by Volkswagen. Now, Ooh. the best thing, one of the best things is the soundtrack. It's all 60s music. Yeah. And it'll have you tapping your feet while you're playing the game. Yeah. And also, it has loads of different styles of race, and you can race cars such as beach buggies to soup top. It's great. Trucks. Yeah. This this is the uh, it's called cross, a kind of motocross track. This is a good. This is a good one. A stunt track and stuff. But the the graphics are amazing. They are. It's such a good game to play. And I must point out, it's really easy because the controls are simply the cursor keys. So it's forward for accelerate and left and right and back for brake. Um, so it is a great game. I'm really enjoying it. But Ed, I have to ask you, what would you say is actually the best bit of this game? For me, it's got to be the huge, no, no, the monster range <laughs> of cars, monster, I like BW cars, because you've got 45 different cars to choose from. It's great, isn't it? All it's based on the Beatles chassis. Different class. Okay, uh, and what about, what's the worst bit, would you say? 
I've got to be honest, uh, some of the tracks can get a bit tedious, they're a bit slow and boring after a while. Yeah, the you stunt... get used to it and it's no excitement there. Well, in a driving game, I quite often go for the stunt track, but the yeah, stunt yeah. track on this is quite dull because you've just got to do a long jump, basically. And right. If I wanted that, I'd watch athletics, do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, OK, is it Bedrock Approved, Ed? Um, well, some PC racing games aren't that good, but this is, and I'm going to give it a Bedrock Approved. Superb. Well, I'll um, pause it and I shall stick a sticker on it. There we go. There is a, a Bedrock Approved... Beetle crazy game thing. There we go, that's cool, look at that. Marvellous. Ed, I have to say, the games pad always feels slightly edgier when you're on it. And I like that. Cheers. <sighs> Coming up, uh, you'll be taking on Aiden from Grange Hill. Can't wait. Battle of the Breaths blow up. But um, what game exclusive are you going to leave me with? Have a look well, at? my friend, I'm going to leave you with the latest in the Cool Borders franchise. It's Cool Borders 4. Mm. Now, they've made some serious improvements. The uh, control and the scenery glitches that you had with all the others yeah. have been resolved. Fantastic. It is different class. I can't wait. Now, there's got a new feature where you can create a rider. Now, you can change the height <gasps> and weight of riders, wow. which, hence, it performs uh, tricks, big airs. You or can just looks stunts. more like you. Well, yeah, I suppose <laughs> so. Good idea. Well, it costs 34 British pounds and 99 pence, and it is out, at the oh, sorry, it is out in three weeks' time. And for this little peek view, is free. Let's have a look. Okay, call in over the break and you can get the chance to back either Ed Saunders or Aiden, training hard behind me here, in a game of blow football in blow up. Oh, keep practicing, come on. And if the player you pick wins, just look at what you'll get. Take instant pictures of all your friends being jealous with this limited edition Polaroid Joy Cam. And then put your feet up with an entire year's subscription to Smash Hits magazine. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> okay, if you fancy your chances and let your fingers do the walking, call us on 0870-600-6606. That's, that's right, that's 0870 <laughs> And the calls will be charged at the national rate, which is about 10p a minute. Yeah, that's true. All you have to do to enter is answer this qualifying question. Aidan, would you read out the question? Yeah, who are, who, who are England playing in the first match of the new Six Nations rugby tournament? Is it Russia, Ireland, or is it China? I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry straight back after the break when we'll be testing the girls from Fierce on their dancing skills and playing the hottest Buffy game on the net in the bedrock bookmarks. But for now, Aidan, you take it to the break. Yeah, yeah, I will. Um, you're watching television <laughs> and you're watching ITV2. And this is bedrock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, well, welcome back to Saturday's Bedrock. In this part, we'll be checking out the coolest Buffy site on the web, as well as chatting with Chantelle and Sabrina from Fierce, who've just joined us. Welcome to Bedrock, girls. Hi. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Thank well, you. first of all, congratulations on being nominated Best Newcomer in the Brits. How exciting are you? Absolutely very, overwhelming. Very. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we're going to be catching up with all your news a little bit later on, but first, it would be great if you could help me check up on someone we sent out to 321. Mm -hmm. Ben! <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the start of the show, we sent the tenacious Tess Daly into the streets, armed with a camera, her smile, and her brief to fetch us the person with the best bedrock burp in town. Mm -hmm. Tess's first progress report is back. Let's see how she's getting on. Hello guys, well you sent me out on the streets to fetch the best bedrock burper in town. We're getting a lot of strange looks, I can tell you, but I found a couple of windy young hopefuls. Meet Philly. Bedrock. Not a lot of depth or bass in it, but the effort was there. And Vicky. Bedrock. <coughs> Two girls who've had their voice boxes removed. But 10 out of 10 for effort, there's still a lot of time left, and I will fetch the best bedrock burper in town back to you in the studio. See you there. Whoa, okay, come on, girls, let's see you try it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. we're ladies, Too darling. Lady -like. Yeah. <laughs> Too lady like that. Well, like me. I actually can't do it either. I, okay. I tried earlier and I just sounded like I had a coarse throat <laughs> or something. Okay, we're going to be hearing um, back from Tess later on, and of course, talking more to the lovely Fierce. But for now, this. <clears throat> There's a strong lineup for today's match, and the crowd is restless with excitement. I said restless with excitement. Let's play. Are you ready? Let's play. Blow up! Blow up! Blow up! Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. 
And a healthy attack of wind, it's Dream Team's Ed Sanders. <laughs> And puffing up and out through the blue straw, yeah, fresh from the gr games down. fields of eight Grange Hill, <laughs> it's Aiden. Here you come, Aiden. Come on! Woo! Now, oh, you'd like to take your position by the pitch. Now, we've got a most important thing here. Is you've got to meet breath. your managers, OK? Oh, look at that. He's Bad a sportsman. Oh. <laughs> here we go. Um, we're going to meet your managers, both of whom phoned in and knew that England are playing Ireland in, the first, England. in the first match of the new Six Nations tournament. I think backing Ed is Adam. Hello, Adam. Adam, are you there on the line? Yeah. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm OK. How are you? Yeah, very good, thanks. Have you got any tips for our Ed here? Oh, yeah, just do what you must as long as you win. Do what hey. you must as long as you win. <laughs> Within the rules of the game, I hope. OK, uh, and supporting Aidan, I think, on line two is Mark. Hello, Mark. Mark? Oh, yeah. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Not bad. Thanks yeah. for calling in. Have you got any last-minute advice for Aidan? No, just go out there and win. Go out there and win. Go yeah. out there. Or even stay in oh, here and win. That's yeah. what we're now. <laughs> Listen up, everyone. The rules are simple. If the player you've backed wins the match, you win today's fantastic prize. And it is amazing. It's the instant camera and a year subscription to a very cool music mag. <laughs> Adam and Mark, make sure you're pl you give the player the encouragement they need, OK? Right? Oh. And you've got to encourage as well. Oh, right, OK, then. everyone. Right. Now, I want your hands behind your backs, please. You can't touch the and ball. The other hand, Ed. <laughs> there we That's are. Your hand. Okay. I'm doing it aiming. Now, okay. any touching of lips. the ball with anything other than the straw will result in a penalty. Are you <gasps> ready? Okay, it's a game of two halves. You're going to swap at half time. And uh, here we go. 20 seconds. Go. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, any blow? Come on, then, mate. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Half time, change ends. Oh, sorry, Adam. Come on, on the pitch. I think it's all over. Not yet. Go, go on, Ed. Oi. Come on, bad breath, Eddie. Go on, 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 that is our winner is Ed and that means that Adam at home you there have won you the camera there. and the magazines how are you feeling he can't yeah. 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 he's speechless with excitement how are you feeling with that Adam yeah are you feeling happy about that yep very happy. good excellent who's the first person you're going to take a picture of uh, myself so, oh. You're kind of, kind of man I can get to know. Okay. Easy for those. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Thanks for calling in. Uh, now uh, we're going to stick around for a bit longer because coming up, Fierce will be telling us what they spend most of their money on. But first, I think we should all chill out with a little bit of music. <laughs> a big bedrock welcome to Chantal and Sabrina from Brit Nominated. Fierce girls, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. It's lovely to have you here. Congratulations on the nomination. Thank, Thank you. you. How did it feel to be nominated as uh, Best Newcomers? Oh, fantastic. It feels good. Really Where were good. you when you found out? We were, at, we were at my manager's house doing rehearsals. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I was just reading it in the paper and I goes, Fierce? I was like, are they sure? That's us. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we were over the moon. So you hadn't been told beforehand? No, you just read no, it in the newspaper? No, I read it in the paper and then I was telling everybody else. And so they like, told me. You know, really? It was That's surprised. so exciting. But, I mean, it's, it's a quite, there's quite a few nominations in oh, here. Yeah. Are you aware of all the bands you've been nominated with? Yeah. I mean, do you know who Beta Band are and, and, and Death in Vegas? I don't, know, I don't know who they are. Are you gonna, are you gonna make an effort to try and find out who they are, just so you know what the competition's like? <laughs> I fingers crossed. I don't really mind. Keep you know. patch. We're happy to be nominated anyway. That's the best thing. Which band do you think you would offer best band of best newcomer to '99? Um, I would say Fats and Smalls or S Club Seven. Yeah. Fats and Smalls or S Club Seven. Yeah. yeah. They're like both been very good. And Ben Ben's going to be in a little bit later uh, with us, and he's going to be uh, so you can tell him that yourself. Okay. But <laughs> they're a good band too. Now, you're obviously in your video, you're surrounded by plenty of uh, fine Ooh, young men. Yeah. Fine young men. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what what are the essential uh, things that you, a dancer needs to have, a male dancer to get into one of your videos? You need to have a great bod. Right. You've got to have a great personality <laughs> and you've got to have the face. Right. Definitely. Well, if you'd said bod and face, it would have been fine, but personality, yeah. I lose. <laughs> Otherwise, I thought I could have been in your next video. <laughs> but I suppose next time... Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Did you, you've just been out in the States filming. Did you do any gigs while you were out there? No. No, no it was just for the video, which is kind of exciting. 
It was right. nice and hot every day. That's why we loved it even more. Really? Yeah, it was a two-day shoot, so we spent all our time doing the video. Wicked. Now, you, you were with us last April, yes. and apart from the Brit nomination, um, what's been the highlight of the year? Um, I guess supporting Whitney Houston. And on I would tour. say doing Party in the Park, meeting Prince Charles. Yeah. Really? Those yeah. two. That was quite, and it was such a big occasion, wasn't it? Party in the Park oh, it was yeah. massive. About 120,000 people. It was just immense, because we were down there, I was down there, and just looking at the size of the crowd, mm -hmm. and it was just gobsmacking to see all those people. Well, you should have tried it from our view. Yeah, I imagine it'd be even worse. That's mad. And, and a little belly tells us you're at number three in the charts. Is this true? Oh, yeah. What are you going to do if you, uh, if it go, I mean, it could feasibly go up mm. to number one by tomorrow, couldn't it? Well, you never know. We said that hopefully we'll go ice skating. <laughs> do you know, do you know, and then go for, a, like, go for a West Indian meal somewhere. Right. Nice and restaurant. probably go pictures as well. A nice calm way yeah. to celebrate. Nice, yeah, it's leisure. And day. it's all on our own manager. <laughs> Is that right? There you go. She's heard it right here. That's cool. Now, I think... Uh, uh, we've got a special telegram for you. Okay. Uh, where's our telegram? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm a Tarzanagram for the Fierce Girls. Uh, I do some ballet and I love to twirl. Uh, I have a challenge. You'll get some cake. Can you do some ballet from Swan Lake? There you go, girls. Um, Okay, we'll we need try. some ballet. Have we got some music? There's the music. Okay, let's go. Off you go. There's a lovely pirouette and some good footwork there and some nice plies and, and um, Neil, what are you doing? You're giving them the cake. Oh, okay, give them a big round. Yeah. Um, finally, that was a stunning ballet, that girl. Maybe you should get that in the next video. Before you go, quickly, I understand mm -hmm. that you guys could win an award for shopping. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the most that you've um, spent in one spree? Clothes, makeup. The most amount. Mount, money. Money. Oh, amount. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, don't, I mean, we could go for it. We can go on forever. I mean, we have spent like £500 on that outfit. In one outfit? Yeah, mm -hmm. Vivian Westwood girl. So, what, so tell me, tell me, obviously a big occasion with the Brits. Mm -hmm. Have you chosen your awards yet? Not yet, we're going shopping soon. <laughs> oh, it, do you think it would be like a multiple shopping trip? Got to go back and try this and try and get the shoes for yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know us girls. Yeah, like that. <laughs> if we're not pleased with one thing, then mm. we'll go back. And then, you know, we're going to only go back to the first place. It's, got to, be, it's anyway. got to be designer. Mm. Of course. It's, it's got, got to be designer. designer. Big name. So you're getting a big name outfit. You're going to look really smart. So mm -hmm. who out of all the nominations who's going to be there are you, would you like to impress? Um, I guess Whitney Houston. I heard she's going to be doing a performance. Mm. And because we supported her on the tour. Of course she did. Yeah, we'd definitely like to meet her again. And what about the men? The men, let oh. me see. Ooh, ooh. I think there'll be a list. There'll be a long, long list. A long, long list. It will be nameless. <laughs> oh, right. OK, keep it under hats. We'll, go, well right. girls, it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you. You're going to stick around for a bit, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Right now, it's over to go next door with Neil. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to today's bookmarks. I am Count Cole, and today we're sucking the best vampire sites from the net that you can count, count on. <laughs> I'm very honored to introduce my first victim, sorry, guest, <laughs> to the bookmarks. It's Colin from Grangy Hill. <laughs> It's okay, uh, it's actually only me. Oh, but <laughs> I'm not really a vampire. <laughs> Welcome to the bookmarks, Colin. Thank you very much. Uh, do you like this colour? I think it's very nice. Yeah, very 70s. Very Thanks. 70s. Yeah. Um, are you an internet fan? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I go on the internet now and again. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Good. More importantly, do you like vampires? <laughs> or things about like vampires? Buffy? Yeah, no, I'm yeah. talking yeah, Buffy, Buffy We're talking Buffy, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I do. You yeah, like I Buffy? Think she's very good. She's quite attractive, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yeah, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, but one of the most popular subjects on the internet yeah. is vampires and indeed Buffy. Now, this right. is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Slayer home site. Right. Um, and it's a lovely, look at that. Every time you sort of scooch over there with um, the, uh, the different icons yeah, change. Sound, right? Yeah. Um, and if you go to the yearbook, this is quite exciting, you can see all the cast, right. the people from um, Hellmouth and the score, Sunnydale High, and the ones that actually change. There's one, look, Oz changes yeah, yeah, into yeah. his wolf character. Angel, look at that. Yeah, yeah. And um, Drusilla, there you go. And of course, Angel, um, David Boreanaz has his own very cool show on Sky One called um, Angel. Yeah. Um, now, what I, one of the things that is quite cool about this is it has its own Buffy game, as every Hey. Every site has its own game based yeah. on its subject matter. Yeah. Is this hampering me at all? Do you, can, do you think it's all comfy? I don't know. Oh. It's a look I could go for. Um, <laughs> now, uh, what you have to do is shockwave game. Um, to play it is very difficult. <laughs> you have to try and slay those little blighters, but you end up just killing your friends. Well, well done. Yeah, now, I find life's like that. 
What's the lesson for life? That you try and kill the little blighters you just end up killing your friends. No, that's not true. It's just a game on the internet. Um, but th there's much more important news if you're a, f a real vampire fan. Yeah. Because John Malkovich is starring in a new nail and neck biting movie. It's called Shadow of the Vampire yeah. uh, with one of my favourite actors, Willem Dafoe. Now let's check this out. Academy Award nominees John Malkovich. This is hardly your picture any longer. Shadow of the Vampire. Whoa! Yeah, William Dafoe's good. He's cool, isn't he? He's cool. It's a very scary actor anyway, without all the Nosferatu makeup. Yeah. Do you think it looks scary? I think it does look scary. Well, yeah, should be good. Yeah, well, it doesn't come out in America until June the 16th, um, so we've got quite a long wait before we can get so to we'll see get it. We'll get it like um, next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but before you go, I thought it would be rude not to have a look at you on the internet because you of course do appear um, in the Grange Hill website on yes. CBBC's website. Here we go. Now mm. this is loading up at the moment. Right. Um, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I think I've seen it once at Grange Hill. Right. But um, I haven't seen it at home sort of thing. Right, okay. Well, okay. I'm glad you feel at home here. I That's really nice home. you said that. That's like, you know, it's at home. Okay, um, except that it looks like you're not going to see it here. Okay, well, For some mind. reason, it's not loading up. What a shame. Here we go. No mind. I did want to show you there, but the gremlins have got in the vampires. Well, I've sucked the life out of it. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Just as I said that, they Colin Brown. Colin Brown. Oh, hey. Thanks. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we are. This is you. That's the Grange Hill site. And there he hey, is! Hey. Colin by name, Colin by nature. There we go. Colin in the show and Colin in real life. Yeah, absolutely. Bizarre coincidence, that is. That is it for today's bookmarks. Excellent. Thank well, you very much for joining me. No, thank you. Um, uh, in a short while, you will be cheering on our karaoke kisses. But right now, this! <laughs> it's time for us to take a break, but I promise you we'll be straight back. What are we, Rachel? Uh -huh, Rachel? Yeah, yeah Brendan? Uh -huh. Rachel, Stop. Brendan? Yeah, oh, yeah. Coming absolutely. up, we'll be finding out from Kat Dealey why she blushes when we mention Robbie Williams, but she also had this to see. Yeah, I was having a total clothing nightmare before I came out. I was like that. Oh no, nothing fits. And I, I, I don't know what I'm wearing. And she says, Okay, right, chill out. Just choose something. Come meet me. Don't worry about being late. I'll be fine. Uh, so, Brendan, you're uh, you're a fan of Kat Dealey? Yeah. Oh, plus three feisty girls will be singing for a snog in our hip shaking, lip smacking game, Karaoke Kiss. Right, guys, enough playing games. Can mm. you take us to the break, please? Yep, yep. You're watching television, you're watching ITV2. And this is uh, Bedrock. Bedrock, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm with you. Welcome back to Bedrock. In this part, we'll be showing you an exclusive solo interview with the man who picked up the best band ever, Enemy Award, on behalf of the Beatles this week, Sir Paul McCartney. So what is your favourite Beatles song, Selena? Uh, my favourite Beatles song would be Yesterday. Yeah. Ooh, I like it a lot. Well done. Now listen, you lot at home can also ring in on this number. It's 0870 600 0606. And you could win an all-expenses-paid weekend in Dublin. And that includes, wait for it, Hotel, flights and spending money, plus a prepaid mobile phone. Now, how cool is that? That is so cool. You should get phoning. That is us up for grabs in our funky competition, Who's Groove? But in a moment, the three chic chicks will be shaking their tushes and singing their hearts out for a karaoke kiss. But first, this. <laughs> this. <laughs> No idea. Uh, that dog's really going to get on my nerves. Nerves, 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 nerves. <laughs> Let's close our mouths, open our ears, and listen to what our all-knowing video clerk has got to say on the latest small screen rental action. Hi, Mark. Welcome back to the Bedrock. Uh, busy you. week in the video store? Uh, very, busy, very busy. Is Frantic, it? hectic, awful. Good, yeah. good, good. That's why we like to see it. Now, Mark, just check you haven't gone off the ball. We need to know what's been the most rented video this week. Uh, the most rented video this week is Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me uh, out selling entrapment by a massive 197,590 rentals. So, cool. One we recommended last week, indeed. Yeah, it's a good indeed. film. There you go, great film. Now, you've been keeping an eye on all the, all the new rentals that as are coming always, out this week. Tell always. us if they're rental or mental, is that right? Yeah. That's correct. Cool. Right, um, first up, let's get started. It is a chick flick called Never Been Kissed. Now, before we get into details, what's the tagline for this film? Some things are worth waiting for. Oh, bless. They certainly are, like <laughs> tea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it stars Drew Brilliant. Barrymore yeah. <laughs> as a um, young news hound, Josie Geller, and Mr. Courtney Cox, David Arquette, as her brother. Now, Josie finds herself back.
back at school as an <gasps> undercover journalist where she encounters an English teacher ah. who tries to change her never-been-kissed status. It's out on Monday to rent, but what does Mark think of it? Hmm? Let's find out. What's the best bit, Mark? Well, the best bit of this film is, uh, it's fairly late on actually, but it's about sort of 70 minutes into the film and uh, a, friend, a colleague of hers has to come along and she decides to come to the school and, uh, and meet her and say hi, but she gets mistaken for a sex ed teacher and so this girl, Anita, who's uh, known as getting around a little bit in the office, ends up giving a sex talk to these uh, kids and she sort of goes off and one a bit and it's, it's a She nice enjoys play. it. She Sounds quite racy. <laughs> OK, um, uh, what's the worst bit, please? Uh, the worst bit, um, it's a cheesy Hollywood uh, teen flick and at the end she kind of exposes herself at the prom and tells everyone in this big long rant about how they should be proud of who they are and all this and now they all applaud whereas in, in fact you know that in real life they'd be like oh whatever a girlfriend like hello <laughs> get <laughs> out so uh, yeah, yeah that's that's pretty bad okay is there a rude bit there is a rude bit well it's never called never been kissed and so you couldn't have this movie without there being a kiss and uh it doesn't disappoint at the end 81 minutes into the film she gets her but kiss. that's as rude Probably. as it gets a kiss that's as rude as it gets oh, Fair enough. just a smell. family fun um, and it's got, of course, it is Drew Barrymore, so... Of course it is yes. Drew Barrymore. Which shelf is it going to head for, then? Let the barcode yeah. decide there, Mark. And it is a... It's a rental, rental That's choice. a rental, That's yeah. Cool. Take Stick it on the girlfriend, sit on the sofa. <laughs> cool, one okay. rental for Never Been Kissed. Our second video is 20 Dates. Mark, what's the tagline? All Miles Brokovist wanted was a chance to save his career and his love life. What he got was... 20 Dates. <laughs> there you go. Ominous. It stars Miles, Miles Berkowitz as himself and also the lovely Tia Carrera from Wayne's World. Miles lives in LA and wants to find a love life, a love life and a film career. He decides to try to combine the two things and find a love in front of the camera. Uh, Mark, we need to know what's the best bit. Uh, the best bit in this film for me was uh, about 75 minutes in when he spent the whole movie trying to argue with people about what's wrong with the way he deals with women and stuff like this. And uh, he sat down with a, a little girl who's only referred to as some kid and she basically gives him the wise lowdown on what's <laughs> from wrong a kid. with the way he does them for this Excellent. kid about this tour. <laughs> she gives him Cool. Wicked. And what's the worst bit? Uh, the worst bit, the, well, it's supposed to be documentary and it's a, it's a good idea, but um, throughout there's these bits where he has his voiceover as well. It's a recorded conversation with the guy who supposedly has given them the money to back the film. Uh, the and he the comes in and it carries on and it just loses the suspension of belief because it sounds really scripted Gets a bit and scripted. really kind of played on. Cool. Yeah, so that's okay. kind of my worst bit. There you go. And is there any rude bits? Uh, yeah, about 50 minutes of the film, this uh, financier demands that uh, he has a date with this uh, model and uh, he does and he hooks up with the model and then he really hooks up with the model. So, okay, uh, brilliant. He really hooks up with the model. And, yeah. um, uh, I have to ask you though, is it a rental choice or would it be mental to rent it? Let's the barcode see. That one is a... Oh, it's mental. That's a mental, I'm afraid. It's a, it's a good idea, but it's a bit long and okay. uh, it doesn't really hold you. So. Stick it on the mental shelf. There we go. Um, thanks for that, Mark. Which film do you think we should see a clip from? Well, we're going to have to see a clip from uh, Never Been Kissed. And this is the bit where uh, Drew Barrymore, or is it Rachel? I can never... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> She's going to love you for that. Basically, she, her and David Arquette, uh, basically, he's t she's telling her about the, him about the new assignment and uh, he's trying to remind her how bad high school really was. Cool, cool. There you go. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, thanks very much, Mark. Look. Great job. And Here's the clip. You are looking at the newest undercover reporter for the Chicago Sun Times. I am Josie Geller, high school student, senior class, 1999. Uh uh. You're kidding, right? What? Josie, do you remember high school? It was a long time ago. Do you remember what they called you in high school? Josie Grossi. I know, I made it up. I didn't know it was going to catch on like it did. From never been kissed to about to be kissed. Three lonely ladies are going to be giving it their all. From musical snog, live on the show. It's the perfect way to bring joy to the loveless. It's most definitely karaoke kiss. It's time to meet the ladies who want some sweet, sweet loving from our man next door. So let's say hello, ladies. Welcome to Bedrock. It's lovely to have you all here with us. Uh, we'll start with you down there, Christine. How are you doing? I'm not too bad, Ben. Up for a good sing song? Oh, yes. Who are you going to be for us? Um, I'm going to be Love City Groove. Love City Groove? Ah, what made you choose Love City Groove? Well, uh, my dad was a Love City Groover, so I'm just hoping that Simon will be my Love City Groover tonight. I'm sure he will. There you go. Old Eurovision stars themselves. Best of luck to you, Christine. Uh, Venetia, have Hi I pronounced there. that right? Yeah, that's lovely. right. It's lovely to have you with us. Um, are you up for a good sing song? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, who are you going to be for us? Today I'm going to be Mary J. Blige. Ah, the Queen of R&B. Why, <laughs> why have you chosen her? Because today I'm going to make Adrian top of my charts. Mm, and I'm sure you will. Best of luck to you. And finally, Leah, how are you doing? I'm fine. 
fine, thanks. Okay, thanks. you up for a good snogglier? Yeah. <laughs> Potentially, cool. That's what we like to hear. You're going to be for us? I'm going to be Britney Spears. Britney? Why Britney? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to drive Simon crazy. I'm sure you will. There you go. That's our three lovely ladies. Now it's time to head over to Heather to meet our karaoke kiss selector. Okay, I've been joined here by Simon. Welcome to Bedrock, Simon. All right. Hi. And of course, welcome to Karaoke Kiss. Now, let's clear things up straight from the start. Can you just confirm that you are indeed single? I am no, indeed. You are? I am. Fantastic. Let's get down to business. Whose songs have you begging for more? Who do you, who do you like listening to? Um, Chemical Brothers. Right. Um, yeah, Fat Boy Slim. Like, you like sort of dance music? Yeah, some dance. And what kind of lady do you normally go for? Tall, funny. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. What about looks? What do you like looks like? Blonde. Oh, really? Blue eyes. Interesting, interesting. Uh, and if you had the chance, who would you be to get your girl if you were going to do karaoke? Uh, Macy Gray. Oh, really? Yeah, I try. Yeah. She's very good. And also, I just want to ask you one more question. Which artist leaves you begging for mercy? Who do you just really not like listening Bewitched. to? Bewitched. Really? Bewitched, it would have to be. It's the denim, isn't mm. it? Okay, well, listen, Ben's been chatting to the ladies. They're all waiting to get started. Are, are you ready for the song? Yeah. Definitely. Okay, let's get going and pass over to our very own MC Karaoke. <laughs> There you go. Uh, I'd like to introduce the massed bedrock panel who have joined us for Karaoke Kiss today. We have musical expertise in the form of the gorgeous Fierce who have joined us. It's lovely to have you here. <laughs> Brendan Asp, uh, this week's sports expert, has joined us as well. Of course, we have Marcel, Colin and Aidan from Grange Hill down the front there. <laughs> you can't get enough of him, he can't get enough of us. Steady Eddie's still here. <laughs> And of course, Rachel and Neil down the front. Let's, oh, get, hey. let's get this musical bonanza on the road with our first singer. Please, everybody, welcome Love City Groove to the microphone. Oh. Give it a big cheer. <laughs> now then, um, uh, Love, uh, what are you going to be singing for us tonight? I'm going to be singing Love City Groove. Ah, a bit of an echo. You're going to be singing Love City Groove. Fantastic. Now remember, sing and start as I love buzzer. Second time you hear that buzzer, you're going to have to stop. A man next door can hear you, but he can't see you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's bring that noise. You greet me in the morning with a kiss and a smile. And for the rest of the day, I'm on cloud nine. Right. It may sound a fantasy, but to me it's true. See and I can trust my emotions because I know what I feel. Well, we have a special and that it will last. A heart speed is one. It's pumping blood real fast. And this connection is truly from above. And I thank God. Wow. Fantastic. That was uh, Love City Groove. And... Uh, Rapping for her kiss, hopefully, there. Love City Group. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Our next singer is Miss Mary J. Blythe. Miss Blythe, as you step up to the microphone, please give her a cheer. Mary, what are you going to be singing? Um, I'm going to be singing Everything by Mary J. Blythe. Yeah. Wonderful. It's a great tune. Now then, remember, single start is a love buzzer. Simon next door can hear you, but he can't see you. You ready? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring that noise. When you're sad and blue And it's singing When you're, you're sad, sad and blue, blue I'm gonna mm -hmm. sing to you <laughs> You can sing for a song <laughs> I gotta <laughs> give <laughs> Thank you very much, Mary J. Uh, Song of few words, nevertheless, still a fantastic effort. Thank you very much for coming and doing that. And finally, our last singer, and let's really give her a big up, it is Miss Britney Spears. Britney. <laughs> now then, Britney, what are you going to be singing for us? I'm going to be singing Baby One More Time. <laughs> if only. Now then, remember, he can hear you, but he can't see you. So you just enjoy yourself. You ready? Yeah. Let's bring that noise. My loneliness is killing me. I must confess, See you, girl. I still believe, still believe When I'm not with you, I lose my mind Give me a sign Hit me, baby, one more time mm. oh, baby. Thank you very much, Miss Britney Spears Bowled over, literally, by the fabulous Miss Britney Spears there. Ladies, I bow to your talent. Unfortunately, it's not me that gets to choose who gets a snog. It's your man next door. He's got a very difficult decision. Let's see who he wants. OK, Simon, I'm sure you'll agree the girls did a very good job, didn't they? Yeah, very good. They were all quite mm -hmm. different. Listen, it is time now for you to choose your karaoke kiss. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Love City Groove? Is it going to be Mary J? Or are you going to go for Britney? It's going to have to be Britney. Britney, excellent! Woo! OK, now it's time for Ben to bring on your karaoke queen. All right then, mate. 
Okay. You've heard her sing, now it's time for you to meet your crooner in the flesh. You chose the gorgeous Miss Britney Spears. Let's bring her in in three, in two, in one, in you come, Leah. I'm so late now. It's time for my favourite part of the show. It's something that we didn't intrude on, so we're going to go next door. Yeah. Okay, Leah, make sure you say your piece and then get stuck in and enjoy yourselves, and we'll be watching next door. Hi, Simon. I've been Britney Spears for you. Now I can have my karaoke kiss. Isn't that fantastic? Whoa! <laughs> okay, straight after the break, Heather and I will be showing you what happens when you put fat boys in and wrap them in the royal family in a room together. Uh, Fierce will be forced to face the famous five. Nice one. <laughs> Ooh, and call in to play Who's Groove and you'll have the chance to win. Now make sure you get all of this. It's an all expenses paid weekend for two in Dublin, which will include return flights, two, um, two nights hotel accommodation, a prepaid astral mobile phone, and 300 pounds spending money each. Only condition wow. is that one of one of the people to go on the trip must be over 18. I mean, is that fantastic? How cool is that? You've got to phone in. It's um, fantastic. But what you must do to win is watch this routine and call in to tell us what's the band and what's the song. Mm. There we are. There's two fantastic dancers from that group, Fluid Moves. There we are. Oh, look Certainly at that. What a great routine. <laughs> they know their stuff. They really do. Okay. <laughs> well, if uh, you think you know, then call us on 0870-600-6606. That's dial it, dial it now. 0870-600-6606 if you know what that song was. Yeah, and calls will be charged at the national rate, which is about 10p a minute. But You're, call in. Yeah, do call. You're watching television. You're watching ITV2. And this is Bedrock. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Bedrock. In this part, Heather and I will be showing you what Cat Dealey, Fatboy Slim and the Royal Family's Ralph Little had to say to us this week in our Bedrock Diary. And Brendan Coogan from Radio 5 will also be giving us the lowdown on England's rugby and cricket fortunes, rugby bad fortune, um, this weekend in the sports desk. So, Chantelle, who do you think is going to win the rugby, considering Ireland are playing? So, careful what you say. You do mm. England and Ireland? Maybe England. No! <laughs> Never! <laughs> Absolutely not. You got to support Adam for me because um, I need someone else on my side. Okay, here, I'm on your side. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. okay, John from Manchester has emailed us, wanting to know how you're going to celebrate if you get to number one tomorrow. Mm, I guess we will ice skate in, then maybe to the pictures. You know that new haunted thing. Oh, House of yeah. Haunted yeah. Hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. We like being Fantastic. scared. Fantastic. And ice skating, unusual. Yes, and Definitely. a nice West Indian restaurant. Oh, lovely. Mm. Sounds very good. It's a lovely day. <laughs> okay, well, I think it's high time that now that we checked up on Fetch and how she's getting on with her 3 2 1. Fetch! <laughs> okay, at the start of the show, we sent Tess Daly out to bring us back the best bedrock burper she could find. We've had one report back already, which was pretty good, but she's still got a bit of a way to go. Her second report came in about four minutes ago. Let's check it out. Oh, excuse me. Well, it's going great, and I've fetched a few fine bedrock burpers, I can tell you. Meet my new friends. They belt you with pride. Bedrock! Bedrock! I can't do it. I'll come back to you. Bedrock. Bedrock. Don't eat my mic! Another go, please. Bedrock. Not bad, but not great. But there's still time. And I will fetch the best bedrock burper in town. You know that. They're coming. See you there. <laughs> that guy sounded like Donald Duck. <laughs> 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 Poor Tess must be putting off her tea, all this burping. Oh, no. Charming. OK, well, coming up, we're going to be checking out the new Matrix-style 5 video. Um, but first of all, this. Welcome to Benny and Nelly's Fluid, fluid moves. moves. So I'm Nelly. You may recognise me. I played the non-smoking carriage in Starlight Express. Very good, you are, I'm Benny, and I was the fatted cow in Joseph. Do you recognise me? <laughs> I think you do. I do now. Together we are Fluid Moves. It certainly does. <laughs> Anyhow, we're here today to help you win prizes in our fabulous competition, Who's Groove? We'll perform part of a well-known pop dance routine. All you have to do is tell us what's the band and what's the song. What's the band? What's the song? I still ache a bit from last week. They were a bit of a handful, those Brit Pack boys, weren't they? they were. But I did tell you that it's important to stretch. Yes, you're so right. Before we go any further, let's stretch properly. Okay. I think I'm ready now. Okay, good. Now we're going to perform the dance now, and we're looking for the name of the band and the name of the song. Okay. 
You ready? Tough we know, but don't forget this is for a free trip for two to Dublin, some cash and a mobile phone. A mobile phone? No, anyway, sorry. Are you ready? Yes, fine, thanks. Now take a wide start now. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. Search right, search left, turn back. Let's shake it out, set forward and spin. And Ow. gather love, and gather love, and gather the love, and gather love, and spin. And what are we going to do with that love? Take it in, take it out, take it round, and give it out to you. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go straight. Yeah. Let's go straight to the lines. Um, who's on line one? Sarah. Is that Sarah on line one? Yeah. Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah. How are you? I'm okay. Right. Yeah. That, we just did the routine for you. But what's the band and what's the song? The band is Bewitch. The song is Stay Lovey. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm very Sarah. sorry. She's I'm really. Oh. No, we have to go to call two. I think. I'm very, very sorry. Sorry. Uh, is it? Is who's on two? Is it? Tiffany, 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 you're on line two. Hi. Hi, Tiffany. Now then, t uh, what we need to know is what's the band and what's the song? It's not Bewitched. It's got to be Britney Spears and Born to Make You Happy. <gasps> Let's see if you're right. Go see, well done to Tiffany. <laughs> Hey, Tiff, ha, you've won a weekend in Dublin for two and a mobile phone. How about oh, that? Oh, fantastic! <laughs> yes. oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, who are you going to take with you? Um, my mum, probably. Oh. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. I think so. OK, yeah, yeah it does make sense. Tiffany, thank you very much for watching and, uh, and have a lovely weekend. Yeah. Thank you See very you soon. much. You too. That's our pleasure, believe me. <laughs> OK, in a moment, Radio 5's Brendan Coogan will be getting sweaty in the sports desk. But first, I know you're just going to love this. Hi, Tiffany. Welcome to the Bedrock Diary, where us girls get up close and very personal with some of Bedrock's favourite stars. Absolutely. This week we went to access all areas at the NME Awards. The topic of conversation for the night should have been music, but it was love, babies and more babies. Mm -hmm, it certainly was. And I was chatting to Kat Dealey about who she thought should win a special award. She said Macy Gray, and then this is what happened. I thought you might have said Robbie Williams. <laughs> Yeah, but he's got, he's got enough awards that he's going to have to start building another loo or something to put his oh, awards in, okay. isn't he? So you know where he keeps his awards then? <laughs> what? My lips are sealed. <laughs> that is oh. You see, he's being very coy and shy there. Yes, yes absolutely. He's hiding something. Definitely, and Robbie keeps his awards in his loo. Mm. Yeah, maybe he's there for a long time. You never know. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, and on the baby front, Fatboy Slim and Alex from Blur might be releasing something that isn't quite so musical this year. And congratulations, because you've had an amazing year last year, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it's not been bad, not been bad. Not, of, mustn't grumble. <laughs> out of everything that you've achieved in last year, what's been the most important thing, do you think? Well, that's really cool, but getting married was fire. That's a good one. Um, having a number one, no, getting married and having a number one in that order. Now listen, with all these, oh, hello, all these sort of celebrity babies that are on the way, have you and Zoe got any plans? Uh, yeah, we've got plans. <laughs> And can you give us any idea of Blur's plan for the year 2000? Um, I think it's feet up. Yeah? Yeah. Seems... Have babies, that kind of thing. <laughs> it seems to be going around all right. Thank you. Mm, if you need any babies such as guys, you know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> More than willing to come around. There's definitely going to be, be a baby bonanza later absolutely. in the year. There must be something in the water. I wonder what Fat Boy's going to call his kid. Hmm, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, but a highlight of the night had to be getting Norman Cook and Ralph Little in a Rachel and Heather sandwich. Oh, yes. It certainly produced some interesting results when Heather asked Ralph what he would most like to ask the Fat Boy. Uh, uh, would you uh, let me snog Zoe? As long as it's just snug, yeah. Yeah, that's fine then. Yes! Oh, generous I man! Really Very generous man! man. <laughs> <laughs> Norman Cook is just the loveliest man. Absolutely, yeah. He's so sweet. And also he said that um, Zoe really liked Ralph after he's had his haircut. Yeah, she had a bit of a crush there you on go. Keep up the good haircuts, Ralph. Anyway, that's it for this week's Bedrock Daddy. But later on in the show, we'll be showing you the coolest interview of all. Yep. I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with a living legend, Sir Paul McCartney. Fantastic. Well, in a minute, we'll be checking out Five's new single and setting fierce at the famous Five. But first of all, this. <laughs> Back once again with the Bedrock Sports Desk. The only place to go to get the inside scoop on the back page news. Winning his first cap on the Bedrock Sports Desk this week, fresh from Radio 5, it's Brendan Coogan. Brendan. Thank you very much, Tiffany. 
Welcome. Uh, Cheers, uh, thank you. Do enjoy. You're, see, you're sat in the chair of legends there. I believe so. And uh, you're certainly big enough legends to carry forward the reputation of the sports desk. Well, the ears are legendary. If <laughs> <you can. laughs> now tell me, have you had a good sporting week? Um, yes, I've had a belter, actually. Yes, uh, apart from the cricket disappointment, which we'll talk about later, yeah. last night. But no, Wednesday, yeah. saw so United yeah. trounce uh, Sheffield Wednesday up at Hillsborough. 1-0. Take them to the top of the league though, didn't they? Top of the tree now, top of the tree. But yeah, good sporting week, thank you. Cool. Right, well, uh, we don't want to pull anything, so we best uh, warm up with your chump and champ of the week. Who is this week's chump? I'm turning to the very strange world of American ice hockey here. Ah, uh, right. And in particular, Ottawa Senators. That was ice, just in case anyone was worried. Ice baby. Yes, I enjoy it. OK, <laughs> uh, yeah, in particular, Ottawa Senators captain, right. Alexi Yashin. Now, he's gone on strike at the moment because uh, the team will not up his contract, which is, you have to admit, a meagre uh, $3.8 million. Only $3.8 million a year? That's, that's only 40 that's grand a week. Is that a year? For, 40 grand a week. You're joking. So, you know, uh, it obviously he's disappointed. Oh, for 40 grand a week for pushing a fuck around the ice. <laughs> right you know what I mean? It's, it's outrageous. He's gone on strike and he's now training in Switzerland. And as a result, now all the fans of the Ottawa Senators have, uh, are trying to sue him because he's not playing. And he's spoken their The fans are suing. The fans are suing. They're that livid that with Alexi Yashin. Insane. That's sort of quite a worrying aspect of fan power at football clubs as well, isn't it? Because that's quite too a big, big thing. Too big for his boots. Absolutely. Or skates in this case. Cool. They are a deserved chump, chump. indeed. Uh, who's your champ? Champ this week, it's got to be, after reaching their third Worthington Cup final in four years, Martin O'Neill, Leicester City manager. Football. Champ of the week. <laughs> hey! Now, if I'd have known that was coming, I'd have <laughs> intercepted. Yeah, they all laughed at Martin O'Neill. They, they had did. a go at his team, Ken Bates, uh, John Gregory. Um, they've all been having a go at him, saying that his team was boring, but who's had the last laugh now? Absolutely. They're going to Wembley, and uh, fair play to them, because... Uh, they won. And, and the irony of all ironies, it was uh, John Gregory who was saying how boring they were, and it was them that beat... It was Aston um, Villa that they Villa lost to 1-0 to. Uh, the other night with Matt Elliott sticking in the winner. Yeah, fantastic. And he's, yeah, he's having a blind, isn't he, scoring, he, playing up front. Th that that's about? the secret of Leicester City, I think. They've got a lot of utility players who can play in a variety of positions. Matt Elliott, obviously, you know, best known centre-half, you know, played Scotland internationally. Certainly. And yet he's going up now and scoring a few goals. And I think that's the secret. They're very close-knit. And, of course, they had their very funny uh, celebration after the win where they all lay down and pretended <laughs> to go to sleep. Absolutely, because they're because, so boring. Obviously, because they're so boring. But, you know, they're laughing all the way I mean, to it's, it's, it's great when teams can do that, when really throw it back in people's faces. Much like, much like Alan Shearer did to the Blackburn fans. Like, the like a lot of them, you know, th there's a lot of players come to Old Trafford and, you know, the worst thing you can do is boo them yeah. because they always have a blinder. It's cool. sod's law. There you go. Deserved so, chance. Now then, mm. uh, on the sports Murphy's desk, law. we like to check out uh, the best of the week sporting action. So what have you been watching this week, Ben? Well, it has to be. Although it was a disappointing result, uh, the England last night, the Tri-Nation tournament that's course, going on yeah. down in South Africa, with Zimbabwe, South Africa and England. Great tournament so far, but unfortunately, England cannot get it together in the day-night matches. They've won both of their day matches, but not the night but ones. lost their day-night matches, which uh, you know is a disappointment. But they can still get to the final, depending on the game against. And it was very close last night, wasn't it? Very close. It was. You know, they needed no seven from, stuff. from three balls, and you know, you would have thought, you know, England could come through that. Uh, but uh, no, Sean Pollock and uh, Mark Elam between them sort conspired. Of that. Well, this is what happened right at the end. There, have a look at this. This is what one day cricket's all about. Doesn't do a lot for the health of the players. These games tends to age you rapidly. Here we go. It's clubbed away and that's gone for four. South Africa have won and they've won a thriller here in East London. Such a shame, isn't it? I mean. Fingers crossed, though, they can still go through to the final. Fingers crossed, all they've got to do is beat Zimbabwe and hope the result goes in their favour. Right, brilliant. Now then, Brendan, we've almost come to the end of the sports desk. It's at this moment that we ask you perhaps the most challenging question, because it's time for Big Bren's big prediction. <laughs> Bren, right. check I'm, your crystal ball. What I'm can you see? I'm looking into my crystal ball. I can see... It's coming through now. I can see a lot of green. There's right. 15 men in a bath together. Seem to be laughing. They're Irish. Sport. Irish, right. They're Irish. 15 that's men. That's why they'd I be together. That's a clue. I think uh, it's the rugby. Right. And I think it's Ireland's victory at Twickenham today. You what? What? Who invited him? <laughs> Heather. 
<laughs> that's very controversial. Is that what you actually believe? You think that Ireland I, I, are going to do I it? I just that's think, different. yeah, because sometimes England, you know, they, they give it a bit large and they think they're kind of, you know, going to dominate the Get five nations or six nations as it is now. But Ireland, I think, you know, they, they could just, well, it's an outside bet. But yes, that's what my crystal ball's telling me. And what the crystal ball says you have to go with, I'd imagine. Absolutely, yeah. Well, Brendan, it's been great talking to you. I'm not sure I agree with your big prediction, but then I'm English, so I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming on the sports. Thank, thank you very come much back and see for having again. me. Yeah, uh, don't race, up, race off, though, because fierce are going to be coming up in the Bedrock Famous Five. But first, here's another five. OK, so Vina Chantal, you may be used to some sweet loving, but guys, the fun stops here because <laughs> fierce, it is time for the Bedrock Famous Five. So, Neil, do it. OK, lights, bang, clock, bang. <laughs> <laughs> OK, <laughs> Good. question one. OK, you're called fierce, okay. but which of these three snakes is the fiercest? Is it A, a grass snake, mm. B, a black molasses Brittany mamba, mm. or is it C, an eastern diamond, diamond back rattlesnake? A. Oh, no. Let me answer. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was in fact C. It would it is an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake, which is ten times more venomous than a cobra. Oh. Oh. Interestingly, oh. Britney Spears uh, yeah. was named after that snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two, Chantal and Sabrina, you met in the gospel choir at school. Yeah. But in which soap do the kids go to Erinsborough High? Neighbours. Yeah. Too easy. Okay. Okay. okay, question three. Your current single, Sweet Love, was originally released by Anita Baker. Mm -hmm. But what kind of bread is this? What kind of bread? French roll. French, French what? what? French, French bread. bread roll. No, French think French bread. Bread. What's the French, French name bread for bread. it? Um, French bread. Um, um, <laughs> it's long. Yeah. I could have accepted French stick or baguette, <laughs> but not French bread crust, I'm afraid. <laughs> French 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 bread bread. Sorry. Okay, you've got one correct, answer. Answer there. one correct answer so far. This is question four. <laughs> You're nominated for the Brit Best British Newcomer Award, uh -huh. but can you tell me who won it last year? Um, oh. What did you say? No. Sugar. Um. But, but uh, we're going to have to hurry you. Quite obscure. <laughs> ling -a -ling -a -ling. An answer. <laughs> the answer was Bill and Sebastian. A quality yeah, 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 yeah. But no one's heard of them in. No, it's heard heard of it. Fantastic okay. Scottish yeah, apiece. Yeah, they're very good, but no one's heard of them. <laughs> OK, finally, to redeem yourself and get another one right, it's question five. Okay. Your debut single was called Right Here, Right Now. Yeah. yeah. But can you name the top British DJ who released a single of the same name? Batboy Slim. Yeah. 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 You got one each. You got two. You got two. Right. I want to say Batboy. Teamwork, which is very good, so well yeah. done for that. Listen, you're going to stick around for a fantastic, yeah. excellent quiz. Yeah. Chucky Egg, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, well, coming up, we've got Big Ben Afuedo for, from the Brit nominated band Fats, Fats and Small, and he's going to be giving us, telling us what's going on in the music industry at the moment. Yeah, exactly. cool. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the girls will be going up against the boys with some great prizes in our cracking quiz, Chucky Egg. Mm -hmm. And we'll also be seeing whether Tess has managed to fetch the best bedrock burper around before mm -hmm. the end of the show. Pardon me. <laughs> but in the meantime, girls, can you take us to the break, please? You're watching television, you're watching ITV2, and this is Bedrock. Welcome back to the final part of today's Bedrock. In this part, we'll be showing you the new Backstreet Boys video. Hey. Chatting with Fats and Small's Big Ben Afuero, hey. and pitting the girls against the boys in our hen-picking game, Chucky Egg. And we'll also be seeing if Tess has managed to fetch us a bedrock burper for the end of the show. Now, Ed, I have to ask you a question. Uh, do you like the Beatles? Love them. Yep, definitely. I prefer the, uh, the original, obviously, Oasis. Ah, <laughs> they <laughs> but Ed, tell us, how cool is Paul McCartney? One in a million. He is the Mac Without Daddy, a doubt, yeah. <laughs> he is. He is the Mac. Well, we get the only solo interview with him at this week's Enemy Awards, where he's picking up the best award for the best band ever on behalf of the Beatles. Lovely. Now, I have to tell you, I beat off a lot of other press to get him, and after listening him up, I got to pop that all-important pop question. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Come on, so Paul McCartney, congratulations on Thank your you. award. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Did you think you were going to win the award? Um, I knew I was, <laughs> because they told me before I came. Now, how's that for honesty? That's very good. But you know, the thing was, because it was the readers that um, voted for it, and they said it's the readers who voted for it, and it's a landslide. So how could I stay away? Absolutely. Congratulations. Now listen, um, I have to ask you, what, what are you going to up to in the next six months? What are you going to be doing? Uh, living life. I've no idea. No, I've no, I've, I don't plan it that much. You know, I'll just be doing music. I'll be laughing. I'll be trying to get back on holiday, which is the best place to be. And I'll just be generally rocking around. Good. And are you going to be bush. following uh, Stella at our fashion shows? 
Yep, I will be there next time to see what she comes up with, which I've seen some uh, you know, previews of, and it's fantastic. She's a very talented girl. Excellent. Now, can I just ask you a quick, silly pop question? Yeah, probably. Christina, Christina Aguilera or Britney Spears? Oh, well, uh, that's the question. <laughs> that's the question. Sounds more like a football match. <laughs> yes, I think the answer is definitely. No, what's the answer? But that's definitely. <laughs> is okay. the answer. Oh! Heavy, isn't what a guy. What a guy. Woo! It's just amazing. Definitely, though, an interesting answer. I have to say, I was not going to push Sir Paul on that anyway, but how exciting what is that? What a hero. He's such a great just man. incredible. Well done, Hev. Thanks. Good work. <laughs> uh, but now from Sir Paul to Tricky Ben. I should have said Sir Ben. United. Yeah. Welcome to Trick of the Day, where the highly talented sportsmen and women show off their skillful tricks that have taken years to learn, which is really cool. But the best bit is when our sports expert bravely attempts to reproduce today's trick right here in the studio. And I'm still here with Brendan, obviously. Brendan, you've got a sportsman frame. Um, is, uh, <laughs> yeah, home. Is, are you a natural sportsman? I'm, I'm naturally watch a lot of sport on television, yeah. It comes naturally to me watching it. <laughs> the easy bit, that bit. Uh, are, you, uh, are you up for doing this trick? I, I'm up for it. You're, you're going to eat pillow. <laughs> let's, let's see what you've got to do first, shall we? Uh, this week's trick comes from British international kung fu coach and the 1993 world kung fu champion Ian Armstrong. You worried yet? Go on, go on. We caught up with him at his very own dojo. Watch this very closely, Brendan. Afterwards, you're going to be having a go. And for those watching, definitely do not try this at home. It is a very tricky trick to do. Here it is. Hello, I'm Ian Armstrong. I was 1993 World Kung Fu Champion, and this is my favourite trick. Now, here's something for you to try. This is a simple fighting application using a Kung Fu. You try that. Right. <laughs> we actually worried for a second, didn't we? I'll tell you what, there were bricks elsewhere then. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, great. Now, you did watch that very closely, didn't I you? I watched it very closely. I've, I'm, I've done a bit of... Uh, no, I've not. No, you've not. <laughs> but but not. You, you're willing to take it on? I, I can... I just... Uh, it's all in the wrist. It's, uh, <laughs> Apparently. It's, uh, I'm going to be your... Nailers. I'm going to be your dummy. OK. OK. Uh, so, can we have the drum roll, please? Um, and remember, um, no black eyes, right? Yeah, yeah, you ready? Sorry. Okay, yeah. Ah! 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 Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. 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 Who's the daddy now? Later, Chucky Egg, but now, music. Ah! <laughs> That was my favourite boy band of the Backstreet Boys, and this is Download, where top quality pop gossip is bedrock guaranteed. <laughs> Now, I can't download on my own. In fact, I demand a top pop buddy. Bring on Brit nominee Big Ben from Fats and Small. Hello, Mm. It's lovely to see you. Thanks Good for joining. to see you. Did you miss me? I did miss you. Thanks uh, very, very much. I've been so, what have you been up to then? Trooping around the world. Really? I've been trooping around the world, yes. Do you like spaghetti? I love spaghetti. Well, I was just in Milan yesterday, and what incredible spaghetti that they really? make. Milan, you make good spaghetti, because <laughs> this is worldwide TV, obviously, and Absolutely. so I'm sure people in Milan can see me. No, but it, it tastes really, really good over there, so... So what were you doing in Milan then? Just promoting the album. Yeah. But the album came secondary. The album came secondary because of spaghetti was so good. We used to eat spaghetti on the stage. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. You like your pasta. Very good. Yeah. Now listen, you also played at the Brits nominations party and I have to say congratulations because oh, you've been you. nominated. Thank you very, very much. So, vote um, Fats and Small. You know Fats and Small need your vote. <laughs> how was the party? No, it was, it was really, really good. It had an array of stars there. Um, five, Gabrielle, um, who else was there? Um, Bigfoot from Shanks and Bigfoot. Although oh, yeah. his foot is not that big. Oh, really? Bigfoot from Shanks and Bigfoot. Your foot is not a size 13, <laughs> so it's not as big as mine. But he was there as well. Um, a lot of people have been voted and it's been good and it's, uh, you know, it's nice to be recognised in the British establishment. Absolutely, and you also mm. played a set, didn't you? Yeah, was... totally. Little DJ and set and this and that. Bit of turnaround. What's wrong with you? Uh, it was really, really, really good. good. Now listen, did you bump into Fierce when you were there? Um, no, Fierce weren't actually there. Oh, they weren't there. Yeah, well, bumped into a girl called Jamelia though. Oh, did you really? We're yeah. going to talk about Jamelia later. But um, along with today's guest, Fierce, one of the UK's hottest new R&B acts is called Jamelia. She's only 16 and her debut single, Money, which is on the Radio 1 A-list, is out on the 21st of February. Check it out.
Babes, are you bumped into her? Yeah, totally. What was she like? Um, she's really, really cool. I met her last year, actually, at a Radio 1 launch party. Uh -huh. um, and she's only, like, 16. She's a little girl. Wearing a beautiful red outfit. But, like I say, she's only 16. Yeah, beautiful girl. So, what do you think of the tune, then? Do you like the tune? I think the tune's incredible. I think the video is very, very good. I think that, you know, people always look at UK R&B as very secondary. And I think that now it's nice to see that the record companies are putting the budgets into the videos and sort of making it look like something that's yeah. come out straight out of New York. Sort of so, like the Drew yeah. Hill video. Very theatrical video. Yeah. So what, what's your favourite and b act, do you think? Um, I actually like Fierce at the moment. Really? I think Fierce are really, really cool. I think Another Level's cool. cool. And I also think Mark Morrison was cool as well. Very cool. And yeah. do you think that the Brits can sort of compete with the Americans in the R&B front? Um, I think now. I think that it was all to do with budgets and money and making it look as good and making it look expensive. R&B is very expensive uh, style and I think now the record companies are putting the money yeah. into it. I think, yeah. yeah. It can be. Would you ever think of doing a sort of R&B sort of R&B thing? Yeah. Well, you know, it's a funny thing, because I was in a boy band before, which sort of done pop R&B. Right. We were the innovators of it, right? <laughs> you remember us, things, Yeah, that's it. No, um, I was in a boy band that done that. So, you know, maybe along maybe. the future, I might touch back on those lines. Because, you know, Facts of Small is very, very soulful. Yeah. And it's along those sort of lines anyway, just more speeded up. Excellent. OK, mm. well, let's get some spin on the music stories from this week's tabloids in Big Ben's News. <laughs> Oh, no. I like that, I <laughs> you like are that. the man in the know, so Ben, what's your first bit of news? Well, did you know? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, go again. Did you know that um, Prince has asked, or oh, not Prince, sorry, we should call him the artist. Yeah. I met him, he said, call me the artist. You've met uh, Prince? Yeah, I met him at um, another TV programme. Wow. So, right, it's quite shy though. He's quite short down as all the well, time. So he is absolutely tiny. Yes. I was like, hey, little man. No. I was like, standing <laughs> next to you. <laughs> yeah, but um, no, he's asked Fat Boy Slim to do a remix right. for him, which is, uh, which is an amazing thing. And actually, you know, and not a lot of people know this, but Fat Boy Slim, you can't ask to do remixes. Really? He asked you. Yeah, I remember wow. sort of standing in a photo shoot just before Turnaround came out. And like, ring, ring, and Russell's phone goes, Russell, turn off your phone. Russell Small from Facts and Small. Yeah. He sort of ran over to the phone and, and picked it up. He's like, oh, right, Norman, how are you? Because they go back a long way. Yeah. And he asked to do a mix on Turnaround. See, Fat Boy Slim is, is, is really clever like that. He asked to do the remixes, and, it's, and he picks, like, really, really obscure things to do. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, the artist, you can't turn down the artist. Absolutely, so. that's incredible. Cool. Okay, well, what's your second bit of news? Well, it's about left field. Ah. Love the band Leftfield, yeah. love their last single with Roots Maneuver, and have announced that they're their first live gigs in four years. Wow, and where are they playing? Um, right, they're in Ireland, oh, yeah. the Holmes Festivals, oh, yeah, and in England. And well. I think they're doing Scotland as well. Oh, right. Cool. Mm. Okay, well, we've we got a clip to. of Leftfield's last video. This is Dusted. Bit of a bizarre video. Now, would you, <laughs> would you think. <laughs> Sorry. Not being Do you think that um, Fats and Small would ever play a left field track? Um, in one yeah. Of the yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think that that track, that, um, Dusted, definitely. It's like, it's, you know, it's got a really, really sort of credible, sort of street, cool vibe. And we like to consider ourselves as credible, cool. Uh, right. <laughs> ben, thank you very, very, very much thank for joining us today. Much. Where are you jetting off to now? Another secret station? Well, I'm on a plane, and I absolutely hate planes. I just want to make this oh, known to I hate planes, oh, no. but I'm, on, I'm going to be on it soon. I'm going to Germany. We're going to an award ceremony out there. Um, it's quite good. Everything that we've done in 1999 is paying off in the year 2000. So that's cool. Yeah. We might be up for two awards. We're not sure. We're okay. going to go down. I'll keep you posted. Great start to the, the millennium. So listen, well done, congratulations. But before you go, oh. I know you've been nominated for the Brit Awards, <laughs> but we thought we'd give you our very own bedrock, Betty, which is, oh. uh, of course, got to take pride of place on your man's piece. Oh, yeah, no, totally, <laughs> totally, definitely. Okay. Actually, this is very nice, actually. That's very good. Listen, I look forward to seeing you in a Thank fortnight. You, Thank you very much again for coming to the show. Take care. Mm -hmm. And you have fun. OK, we'll leave you with Big Rod and his pet freak, who's fast becoming the new flat Eric according to Big Ron anyway. It's out on the 21st of February and just could be a smash. Welcome. Careful. I am the Eggmaster. I too am the Eggmaster. We, we am, am the Eggmaster. Egg mm. <laughs> it's time now for one girl and one boy to scramble for cracking prizes with the help of our TV and pop star friends. It's the game that beats us into a frenzy every time. It's Chucky Egg. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's introduce today's teams. On the girls' team are Sabrina and Chantel from Fierce. Hey. Welcome, guys. Hey. Uh, but let's bring in the Egg Girl. She loves Arsenal and basketball, and she's 13 years old. It's Cathy! Egg Girl! 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 A lot of support there. A lot of support.
sport. So how are you, Cassie? Are you well? I'm fine. How do you reckon the girls' team are going to do today? We're going to win. Yay! 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 There you go. That's, mm. that's the girls already set for the boys' team. I'm Marcel and Colin from Grange Hill. Welcome, guys. Hey! Hey! It's time for us to get their egg boy in. He loves acting and football. He's 14 years old and he's Tom. This is Tom. Tom, welcome. Um, what do you think is going to give the boys the edge today? Well, a bit of skill, a bit of luck, no problem. There you go. <laughs> That's how it's going to work. OK, here are the rules. I ask you the questions. You try and answer the questions. <laughs> if you get the answer right, then you get to keep the egg. However, if you get the answer wrong, you have to chuck the egg to the other team. The team left holding the egg at the end of two minutes wins today's fantastic prize, which is an air hog pump-up plane that flies over 100 yards. Wow. <laughs> so the golden rule is you keep hold of Chucky Egg as long as you possibly can. However, when I check Chuck the Egg, you must do it, OK? I'm not yoking. Right? Excellent. OK, let's start the clock. Are we ready? Question number one, the egg starts with Cassie. OK. <laughs> Question number one, what computer game starred Lara Croft? Tomb Raider. It was correct. In which film does Robin Williams play a Scottish nanny? You're going to have to think. <laughs> it was Mrs Doubtfire. Uh, Question number four, name the 700-year-old Jedi Knight who teaches Luke Skywalker in The Return of the Jedi. Yoda. It yeah, is Yoda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The New All Saints singles on the soundtrack for which feature, feature the film? It is The Beach, correct. Oh, Name the second boy. highest mountain in the world. The second highest mountain. Oh, you two at school, you should know. Oh, it's check it! Second. It's gone, check it! Yeah. Yeah. It was, in fact, K2. Which famous couple has a baby named after the New York suburb in which it was conceived? David and Posh. It was correct. It was correct, of course. Can you do an impression of a frog? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Do. Yes. Who duetted with Shola Amma on The Sweetest Taboo? Gummy It was <laughs> In which American city did S Club 7 film their first TV series? Miami! <laughs> Shane from Boys Zone likes to live the life in the fast lane. What's his favourite daredevil, daredevil hobby? Car racing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whose tribute band is called Stairs? Steps. It is Stairs. Yeah. Yeah. What is pop star Ian Don't Watkins go. better known as? Sorry? Who is pop star Ian Watkins, better known as? Uh, I'm afraid oh, you're going to Mamma Mia is the musical based on songs by which Abba. music... It correct. Oh, um, who wrote Anthony and Cleopatra? Uh, Shakespeare. It was William yeah. Shakespeare. Oh. See, the boys had a lot of help there. Uh, which Jerry Halliwell video co-starred a bevy of silvery aliens? Come on, guys. It was lift me up. Can you show me the scuba diving language for OK? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Collins was better, but that is correct. Which entertainer oh, has really had a hit with a double A side featuring She's the One and It's Only Us? Robbie William. Correct. Oh, no, 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 no. Nominate, nominate somebody to do the splits. <laughs> Marcel, 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 you're on the splits. Oh, 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 I'm back over the egg. Oh. 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 Value for they safety to his personal being. Which band last year sang about girls who wear Abercrombie and Fitch? Friends actress Jennifer Aniston is, is going out with Hollywood Hunk. Which Hollywood Hunk? Which Hollywood Hunk? And we're out of time. Thank you very much. I have to say, the, the stalling tactics at the end there, trying to run the clock down, didn't work in your favour. You see, Jennifer Aniston's going out with Brad Pitt. I would have thought you would have all known that. But look, however, it is not all bad because uh, we have got a selection of CDs for you as a special prize. Thank you very much. Great, round of applause for the girls. Yeah. 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 Go, 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 go. <laughs> Tom, you are a winner. Uh, so that means that you win this fantastic pump air hog uh, plane. However, we're going to give you a chance to gamble. We're going to give you the chance to go double or quits. If you win, you keep the plane, and also our all-star prize, which I can reveal to you now, is a fantastic <gasps> MP3 <Wow>. player. <laughs> worth, <laughs> worth over 100 nicker. <laughs> right? Wow. However, if you gamble and lose, you go home empty-handed. <laughs> That's the point we're trying to say. You can take the plane and go home a happy man, a rich man, or you can gamble, lose, and go home sad and dejected. Gamble! What are you going to do? Gamble! 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 Now, 
the gamble question for the yep. MP3 player, for the air hog, and for your own personal satisfaction. <laughs> Can you tell us, in no more than 10 seconds, you have to name... And there's no conferring. There's no conferring indeed yet. Quiet silence from all the other male me team uh, members. Please name three Wobby... <laughs> wobby? Wobby? <laughs> this is a serious <laughs> competition, <laughs> please. <laughs> if you can name three Robbie Williams singles in 10 seconds without conferring, you will win those prizes. And your time starts now. Yeah. Angel, she's the one millennium. <laughs> Boy has done Egg business. Boy. Give it Egg 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 Congratulations and commiserations about our Egg Boy and our Egg Girl. And thank, thank you very much, much for all the teams for joining in. Well done. You both Fantastic. teams have done Absolutely. extremely well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Could burp oh the God. word bedrock the loudest. You now, she reported back a short while ago. She found a few people, but no one great. Has she pulled it off? Let's see. <laughs> so come in, Tess! <laughs> <laughs> All right! Hi, Tess! Oh, welcome back. How's you know it going? OK, well, Tess, this is it. Have, have, have mm. you done a good job? Oh, yes. OK, then, let's see what, we, what you've got. Well, behind this door is the person with the loudest, proudest burping bedrock <laughs> power in the country. <laughs> In three, in two, in one. In you come. Yeah. He's Gareth, he's 15, he's from Loughton, and he has got the power. Let him have it, Gareth. Men run. Men run. Gareth, that was fantastic. Uh, you have been rather successfully fetched. Uh, Yay! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Now you go, pardon me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK, um, a lot of there, there we go. That's the end of today's show. If there's anything you'd like Tess to fetch next week, get in touch with the usual numbers. But that is it for this week. Back yes, indeed. It's been a fantastic show. So a huge thank you to all of our guests. It's been absolutely wonderful having you here. We've got Fierce and the guys from Gain Chill. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. much. See you next week. We'll be back in the show. We'll be back next week. You'll be watching. No more this is TV. You've been watching ITV2 and this was better. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.